Hello friends, let us see how to create Google Forms for conducting any webinar and also linking the Google Form to a certificate for e-certificate generation and also automatically sending it to the participants. Now I am on Google Forms page, so you can find it in the nine dots given here. When you scroll down, you find the docs or sheets and if you don't find form here just type it in the google search box and you will find it so now uh, when i'm on the google forms page i have already logged into my email address there is no form i'll start creating a blank form you can give any title as you de desire Create few options like the name, designation, address, choose this, choose this as short question because this will be an answer. If you think this is a compulsory question, mark it to required go to this plus symbol and you add there will be another question added you can add as many questions as you want Now you can change the questions like just go to the drop down here and you can see different types of questions short answer paragraph check boxes and whichever suits you better you can select that here I'm going to select the linear scale which is like rating so the rating you can change from one to five or you can put it like 1 to 10 I'll make it required so now my form is ready and if I want to preview it I can view so this is how it looks to the other participants so you can change it you can change the appearance of this by going to customize themes so I can get a theme like this this is how it looks i can insert images so all these things can be done separately now for this form i want to link this with certificate generation worksheet go to responses and you see a green symbol here which is create a spreadsheet this is create spreadsheet so i say click on create spreadsheet and there are two responses create new spreadsheet select existing spreadsheet so i'll select a create new spread spreadsheet and i'll start creating and you can see a new spreadsheet is being created you can see there are all options here like timestamp email address name in full designation college how do you rate the webinar so now nobody has given any type of response so this is empty otherwise you get the timestamp and also the complete details of the participant now go to the option here on the top which says add-ons so just click this add-ons and there is no add-on currently in this page so i'll say get add-ons 
after saying this i will have to select the autocrat i can select anything but autocrat is the most used add on i'll say install continue choose an account i am choosing my own account so i'll give access to autocrat now it is installed so when i go to add ons now and check there is autocrat already installed so just move the cursor over autocrat and you find this option open i'll say open this will allow me to use autocrat and also to add certificate to this there are no jobs currently so i'll click on new jobs i can name my job as say next now this autocrat will prompt you to choose any template so there are no selected templates as this is a fresh worksheet so i would like to select any of the templates from the google slides but in my google slides i will have to prepare one template so i'll click on the nine dots here and scroll down and i find slides over here click on that and i i do not have uh, any certificate format here so what i'll do i'll say blank presentation so i can create any certificate template using this patterns already given here and if i don't like this or um, if you don't like this just you can import a powerpoint slide or a certificate prepared on a powerpoint slide because powerpoint slide has uh, uh, so many options compared to the google slide and it's very easy to operate you can just get a powerpoint slide so i'll say i'll go to files and i'll choose the option import slides i have one slide already made on my computer which i will select from my device so this is the one which i prepared sample prepared so that was on my desktop i'm importing it to google slides so i have only one slide i'm selecting it and i'll say import slides so the slide has been imported you can see this is the slide which i have prepared this is the certificate which i wanted so in in powerpoint i could put this uh, logo i could uh, put my college name certificate and all in autocrat it is important to write the name as uh, with this so you have this type of pattern so whatever you want like your name designation college name everything has to be written in this format you can see here name designation college everything is written like this so if you want to add any other column you can also add that by using these symbols so you write these symbols and you write something so that will be linked with the worksheet which i mentioned there now i have my certificate ready i can also change the color of uh, the name to be printed designation to be printed on so the college to be printed like this 
or you can choose some color like this so you can change the name which has to be printed now we'll go to the so this is automatically saved to the drive so i don't need to change anything so i'll go back to the worksheet and i'll say from drive i'll choose one template so in my drive i have this my drive i will select So we have a sample certificate. I'll say next. And here I have the tags name in full designation, college or institution, which are given on my certificate. These have to be mapped to the columns which are in the worksheet. So just click on that. So in name in full, what has to come is name in full. That's the tag. So I'm mapping my tag to that. So I'm mapping my designation to designation tab. I'm mapping my college or institution to college or institution. Then I'll say next. So where to save this? So the certificate will be generated and how to save it. So I want to save it with the full name or name in full. So that is the tag which we have given. So I want to save it with the person's name and which type of file you want to save. I want to save it like a PDF file. Say next. And where to save these files? I want to save it in my drive or I can choose some other folder. So I'll, I'll say my drive and I might create one new, fo new folder on my drive. I can say new new folder i can name the folder as certificates and create so it is created the folder certificates is created on my drive i'll go to that and i'll choose a folder where my certificates have to be saved i'll choose this Say next. So I don't want to add all these things. So as a set, set merge condition, I don't want to set. So do you want to share the docs and send emails? So if you want to send emails automatically from this page, then say yes. Otherwise, you say no. So how do you want this document to be shared? It 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 should be shared as a PDF document. So you want the collaborators to reshare or not? You can say yes. So these are all automatic here uh, to some mail address. So which mail address you want to send? You want to send it to the person who is giving the email address. So I will type it as that is the tag. You can have a CC, you can have a BCC. You can also reply to and in the subject you can write something. like certificate and you can give a message so you can write something whatever you like say next so it says run on from trigger or run on time trigger. So you can click on yes. That is automatically when the person fills in the form, he will be sent any certificate. If you do not want that, click on no. 
if you say run on time trigger and i can give some timing and whenever i start or i run this autocrat then only certificate will be generated and also i can fix times like two hours three hours four so once in so many hours this has to run so i can give a command like that so now i'll say save so once it is saved this is how it looks like but now even if i am running so clicking this symbol will make this autocrat job run but because i do not have any data i cannot run this so once i get some data here so by filling the form i can get the data I can fill here. By using some other email address, not this email address. So once I fill this data, I'll get the names automatically in this worksheet. And then I'll go to the option. I'll try to fill this Google form and see how it goes. I'll submit. So my response has been submitted. We'll check with the worksheet. Yes, you can see that this has been filled. So you can see the timestamp, you can see the email address, so my name, designation, and you can also see the job has been started and it's automatically coming. And you can see the certificate is generated here with the name name in full. I gave it as name in full. So I can check with that. This is the certificate generated. You can see my name, Hima, assistant professor of Nissan has attended a webinar on 20th July. So you can change the pattern of this. So this certificate will be saved in the google drive and also you can see the document has been successfully created the docs document successfully merged pdf created and has been sent as an email so this is the email address where this document will be sent automatically so if this doesn't run so you don't see anything here you can go to add-ons open autocrat open it and run it manually so for running it manually you have to click the play button which is being displayed on this autocrat dialog box so this small play button so once you click on this play button certificate generation will be triggered and your certificate will reach the email address the important thing which has to be noted here is the tagging so if you can see, this is the type of tagging we do, like with these two symbols. So two symbols on this side, two symbols on this side, and whatever you want will be placed here. So you can change the color, you can change the font size, like this. So whatever you choose will be the final display so these codes will not be displayed on the certificate but if you want something else everything can be put like this 
so it is this is tagging in autocrat so you can tag whatever has to be printed and those tags have to be mapped on the worksheet so you have uh, for mapping you have all these names like email address name in full designation college how do you rate on all this you have to map them so making a certificate on google slide with your required design and also mapping it to the respective columns on the worksheet will give you a proper certificate